All right, welcome everybody. Sorry for the slight delay there. Just trying to get the team list together. Uh, well, welcome to Beer City Breaks. My name's Aaron, coming to you from Asheville, North Carolina. Thank you all for joining tonight, and thank you for joining uh, Beer City Breaks. All right, well, let's go ahead and get started. We are good to go on payments. So uh, let me go ahead. Let me do one thing real quick. Let me. Um, so I'm going to give away two cards tonight at the end. And I just want to. I've got the random.org up. I just need to get my football teams in there. And then we will jump on in there. Looking forward to breaking the select. I somehow got lucky. Uh, Card Giants dropped these a week ago Friday on their website. Uh, and I missed. They had dropped some of the blasters the day before. And I missed. I tried. And I just couldn't. Their website is not uh, cut out to handle a large amount of traffic, unfortunately. Uh, but somehow the next day, I was able to... Um, uh, they did. They dropped the hanger packs, and somehow I got it. But I mean, I kept getting error messages. I kept timing out. Uh, it was just a mess. So somehow I was able to finally get in, and I got it carded. I was able to check out somehow using um, PayPal. So it was crazy. But uh, ultimately, I was glad to be able to get a little bit. I have struck out pretty much entirely finding any optic in the wild these last couple weeks at Walmart's locally. Target's never had anything, um, so I'm able to get some stuff through Target online, but that's about it. So I was glad to find some select at least. Um, but thank you all for joining. Hey Josh, um, no, no one sold. Everybody's good to go. Um, hey David, uh, mem break went pretty well. I uh, had a couple of Steelers, couple of Panthers, um, had a Dolphins, Broncos. Um, so it was pretty good though. It was the second time I've uh, done a mem break, and that was. Uh, uh, it was pretty good. First time I did three mini helmets, so I wanted to try something a little bit more expansive. So I thought it went pretty well overall. Um, yeah, let's see. Isaac, you are correct, and I will do a team uh, list show in just a second. Uh, let's see. Steve. Yes, you have the Dolphins. So let me go ahead and do that, and we'll jump right in. Um, cool. And so I'm going to do two giveaway cards tonight. Uh, the first one is going to be a Jalen Waddle. Um, this was from the Zenith uh, earlier this year. Uh, it's an Epics card, 26 out of 50. So that'll be one giveaway. I'm going to do them individually. And the second one will be a Kadarius Tony um, autograph jersey card from this year's limited series. And this is 27 out of 99. So at the end of the break, I will randomize those off. Um, so let me go ahead and bring the camera over to the team list here and give me just a second I've got to pull it up on my phone sometimes it overexposes when I show the the laptop screen <laughs> yep you were in the right place so there we go uh, looks pretty clear so I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down through the teams and I've just taken these straight from eBay so these should look familiar And there we go. So we should be good to go. <clears throat> All right. So we've got 16 hanger packs. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and at least take them out of the box. So there's three and four. And we got four more makes eight. Plus four is 12. And four more is 16. And we got the empty box. So there we go. All right. So what I'll do, I'm going to put these, let's kind of put these off to the back here real quick. And I'll kind of keep four out. But what I'll do is we'll open them individually since there's only 16 total. We can do them individually one at a time. So I'm not, I haven't, I've watched a few breaks with the select this year. Um, I did look at the back of the pack to try to see, you know, what can we expect. 
Um, obviously, some die cut cards uh, in there are a possibility. So it looks like, you know, we've got a uh, possibility at least of, it looks like in all the different varieties, there's silver prism versions, there's the black and gold die cuts, zebra die cuts. I think in some cases there's some tie dyes. So we should, uh, I believe it said too that there are seven um, non-base cards per aver uh, on average per pack. So let's go ahead and jump on in. We did the team list. Uh, like I said, we'll do the giveaway cards at the end. But let's jump on in there and see what we find. Yeah, there are definitely numbered cards in here, so that is, it would be really nice. All right, let's see. Let me make sure I got the camera in a good place there. Sorry about that. All right, here we go. Good luck, everybody. So we got Tyreek Hill starting it off. Ramondre Stevenson. Rob Gronkowski, Joe Tryon Shoinka. Hey, we've got Jamar Chase. Does have just a couple of little minor, well, okay, I thought maybe they'd brush off, but just a couple minor little, like almost little pinprick marks. Wouldn't uh, be Panini without it. But a nice looking rookie card there for Jamar Chase. Uh, we got Lamar Jackson, got a Kyle Trask, Derek Carr. And let's see, we got a, it looks like this is probably the silver version uh, for Jeremiah Owuso Koromoa on the die cut. And let's see, we got a hidden talents for Terrell Davis for the Denver Broncos. A numbers, select numbers card for George Kittle. And some more die cuts. We got a silver. Let me just double check. Okay, yeah, the Jeremiah Wusa Cormo is not numbered. Uh, so we got a DK Metcalf. Oh, these are our black and black and yellow. Sorry, black and gold. So we got DK Metcalf, uh, Quiddy Pay, going to the Colts. JC Horn, rookie card going to the Panthers, and Kenny Wangwu, rookie card going to the Vikings. Not the most exciting rookies there, unfortunately, but we got 15 more to go. We got Elijah Moore, Aaron Rodgers, Michael Carter. Jalen Hurts, and Tylen Wallace. So let me get a couple of these sleeved up real quick and top loaded. Um, what I will do uh, when it comes time to ship, um, I will definitely sleeve, um, I'll sleeve all the rookies regardless, um, you know, of their stature, let's say. Um, but obviously the top rookies will get sleeved and top loaded. Um, I will definitely sleeve any of the die cut cards and then die cut cards for any of the top rookies and um, you know big name players will also get top loaded as well. And then of course if we get any of the die cuts that are you know like tie dyes, zebras, those kinds of things, those will definitely get top loaded as well. But everything does go between at least two top loaded cards. Yeah, let's see, we'll do one more for now. But yeah, definitely all the die cut cards, even if I don't do it on camera, they will get sleeved up at minimum. There we go. All right, well, not terrible first box, but I uh, hope to find something a little bit bigger. I do like the fact this is nice that they do have a lot of rookies within each pack. That's kind of nice. I mean, it seemed like with uh, Prism especially, you know, you didn't get a ton of rookies in each pack. At least the retail versions, I guess, let's say. All right, up next, we got Tylen Wallace, Peyton Manning. We got Pat Fryermuth, rookie card for the Steelers. DJ Shark, Keeney, again. We got Debo Samuel, Eric Stokes. We got Kyle Pitts, rookie card. And this is the uh, concourse level going to the Falcons. Then we've got a die cut on the silver for Carlos Boogie Basham. For the Bills. Then we've got a Rondale Moore rookie card. Does have kind of a little line going down the middle there, unfortunately. And then a kind of a little almost like a little spider web kind of thing coming off of there. Good lord. Panini. They just don't care anymore. Alright. Uh, we got a turbocharge for Zach Wilson going to the Jets. Ooh, nice. And black and gold. Here's a nice looking one. Uh, we'll take that for the 49ers, Trey Lance. On the black and gold. 
Nice looking car. That'll get sleeved up in a moment. We got Kyler Murray as well. Ooh, T-Law. Damn. All right. So as much as that first box of our pack was kind of lacking, here we go. Not bad at all. All right, we got Greg Rousseau for the Bills. Then we got J.C. Horn. Another T-Law. Base rookie card. We got Tommy V. Base card there for the Bucks. Nick Chubb and Dan Marino to wrap things up there. Cool. All right, that was a much nicer pack. I'm going to go ahead and get a few of these sleeved up real quick. Yeah, that was a fire pack for sure, man. All right, good deal. So I got T-Law there. Probably one of my favorite. I, I don't know. I like kind of like all of the, uh, well, I guess now, second-year quarterbacks. But uh, I like T-Law. Also like... Um, Fields and Lance, I think, are the other two that I really like. Nothing against Mac Jones. I like him, too. <clears throat> I will be honest. I always kind of take a liking. I always kind of have a soft spot for the guys on my fantasy team each year. And so last year, I did end up picking up Lance and Fields. And this year, I've got uh, T-Law. It's one of my quarterbacks. So there we go. And let's see. Let me get a couple more of these. Next up, pack number three. Hopefully we can uh, continue that trend in that second pack. And second, third pack overall, we got Calvin Ridley. Unfortunately, we won't see him this year. Terrace Marshall, Matt Stafford, Jalen Darden for the Bucks, Kylan Hill, Rondale Moore, Carson Wentz, we got Amon Ra St. Brown for the Lions. Then we got a silver for Devontae Smith for the Eagles. Uh, we got a hidden talents for Jason Peters also for the Eagles. And a third Eagles card, the select numbers card. What's well, the Eagles pack? Um, and then our black and gold we got 2-2 Atwell. Oh, nice little Justin Herbert for the Chargers. Tom Brady, dang, for the Bucks. All right. And Kyle Pitts for a rookie there. Excellent. Nice. Uh, we got Trey Sermon. Uh, unfortunately, things didn't work out for him. Hopefully, uh, he'll have uh, better luck at his next stop. Saquon Barkley, Simi Fajoko, Ed Reed, and Pat Fryermuth again. There to wrap things up. Oh, hey, Ryan. First time to Browns breaks. All right. Yeah, we'll, we'll, I'm sure we will. We did get that. Uh, we'll get some Browns up there. There we go. I'm a Bengals fan. I'm from Cincinnati originally, so I'm a big Bengals fan. But uh, I don't know. I, I used to like have, you know, get more into the rivalries. But, I, you know, I still am not going to say I'm a fan of, like, the Steelers or the Browns or the, the Ravens. But there are certain players, though, that I like. So I'm not a uh, Steelers fan, but I do like Najee. There we go. I will say, you know, the one thing, you know, I kind of, you know, love or hate Baker Mayfield, you know, the way things went down in Cleveland was a little bit rough, I think, you know. So there's a part of me that's at least rooting for Baker Mayfield in week one. Just to see him get a little bit of uh, retribution. <clears throat> But I just like football in general, so I'm excited. I know we got uh, some college football today. Unfortunately, my alma mater, Cincinnati Bearcats, uh, I was tracking it online. Looks like uh, they, you know, they were behind early at halftime, and it looks like they tried to mount a comeback. But uh, unfortunately, not to be. But unfortunately, when you lose that much talent, I mean, with as many uh, players as Cincinnati had get drafted last year, 
for this past year. It's going to take a little while for them to reload. There we go. All right, let's see. You want to see a Javante or a Patrick Sertan? Yep, I mean, I agree. We'll try to find just something in there. Uh, there's 320 total cards, so hopefully, hopefully we can find something. <clears throat> All right, starting up, uh, next pack, pack four, we got DK Metcalf, Quiddy Pay, a Trey Lance base, and that's the Concourse version. Kyler Murray, 2-2, uh, Justin Herbert base, Tony Romo, Tyson Williams, Oh, nice. Silver uh, die cut for Justin Fields for the Bears. Uh, we got a Rashad Bateman. Oh, there we go. I was just thinking it'd be nice to get a Mac. And there we go. And uh, this is a nice looking car, but I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Like, is that maybe somebody knows more than I do? Like, it's got a lot of surface wear on there almost it's almost like a pattern but uh, i can't really discern any particular pattern but huh well that's a little rough if you want i'll i'll send a pack an empty pack along i think it seems like breaks i've been in if there's a card that has some damage uh, like a decent amount of damage they'll send an empty pack and i guess you could use that to kind of provide proof that you'd received it you know in a break or from somewhere but i'll uh, send along an empty pack um just in case because I don't think that that's part of the design necessarily, but sorry about that. Man, Panini is really losing it on the quality control these days. Uh, we got black and gold. We got Tony Romo, Tyson Williams, a Nick Chubb. There we go. We'll put that one on the stand uh, for the Browns and Trey Sermon again for the 49ers. We've got a Demetric Felton rookie, Rashad Bateman, Tyrell Williams, Anthony Schwartz, and Josh Allen for the Jags. Josh Allen. Oh, let me see. I'm trying to keep these stacked neatly. There we go. Try to keep them by insert cards versus base cards. So it makes it a little easier to sleeve everything up. <clears throat> yeah, those die cuts are looking pretty good so far. Yeah, Paul, you're right. I know, getting close to 200. I kind of wish, in a way, I'd started with uh, Facebook way back when. Because then all those people on YouTube would also be on Facebook. Or a lot of them. Not everybody's on Facebook. I get that. And that's why I always try to at least upload it to YouTube afterwards. But I will say I like the uh, like the logistics, I guess, of YouTube better. Just the way, you know, the video works and everything. Facebook, I just, I like the fact that, you know, everybody's a, like, a, you know, has a Facebook account. It's easier to communicate, you know, reach out to people. So I do appreciate that. Um, but I don't know. I always get these messages like low frame rate and all this other like stuff that I don't know if hopefully it doesn't make a true impact on the video quality, but uh, I never quite know. Knock on wood. Haven't had any major issues yet. But I'm going to probably upgrade my computer pretty soon. I've got an eight year old MacBook Pro. So it's probably time for an upgrade. Um, let's see. Let me pull four more back up here. Let's see. Maybe I can put these over here. I know, man. We'll try to find you some fins. Surely, surely there's going to be some fins. So only 25% down. So we've got plenty of time. Plenty of time left. All right. So this is pack number five. Starting off, we've got Amir Smith-Marset. Going to the Vikings, although I think, didn't they release him this week? Marshall Falk, Chris Evans, Travis Etienne, Teddy Bridgewater, Nico Collins, Carlos Boogie Basham. Got a Justin Fields base. Uh, Davis Mills, there we go, on the silver die cut for the Texans. Got a turbocharged for Patty Mahomes. Hidden talents for Stefan Diggs. And in our black and gold, we got Sam Ellinger, Elijah Moore, Rashad Bateman, and Jared Dokes. Not the Dolphin we're looking for, but we'll take it. Uh, we got Antonio Gates, Frank Darby. Got a Najee base, and that is the premier level. Um, Amari Cooper, and a Calvin Ridley. Again, unfortunately, I won't see Calvin Ridley this year. Seems a little unfair, you know, when a guy like Calvin Ridley. I mean, again, I get it. You know, you shouldn't be... Uh, Shouldn't be betting on football. I mean, that's got to be one of those, like, obvious no-nos. But 
I don't know. You know, some players that do far worse get far less punishment. Doesn't always seem like it's uh, entirely fair. Alright, so not bad so far. Um, as far as uh, upcoming breaks, I'm trying to think. So I may, I'm supposed to get some optic, some of the optic uh, cello packs in this week from Target. So I may try to do a break for some of those next weekend. And then um, I'm also, I was able to, I'm going to do some more of the memorabilia breaks. And I was able to sign up with uh, Steel City Collectibles to at least get um, some cases of Gold Rush memorabilia at wholesale prices. So I do have a, they've got like their Series 5 mini helmets that came out this week. And I did get a 12 box case. So I'm going to try to do a break with those next weekend as well. All right, here we go. Yeah, we'll try to find you some Packers as well. We got David Montgomery, Josh Palmer, Nelson Aguilar, Kenneth Gainwell, Tony Gonzalez, Zach Davidson. Got a, another Najee, and this one is the concourse level version. Got Ezekiel Elliott. Then we got a silver die cut for Nelson Aguilar. A numbers for Nick Chubb. Then we got Zach Wilson. And there's a Packer for you. Got Devontae Adams, a uh, former Packer, but uh, still a Packer for this product. Got Devontae Adams, Michael Carter, Tyro Williams, and Rondale Moore on the die cuts. And then we got Chase Young, Jeremiah Owuso Koromoa, Devontae Smith, Christian McCaffrey, and Terrace Marshall. I am looking forward to seeing how some of these uh, new Packers receivers do. I mean, obviously, kind of worry a little bit about a drop-off with uh, losing Devontae Adams, but some of those rookie receivers, see how well they can fit in. and be an interesting year. Oh, I'm just ready for football in general. Definitely more of a pro football fan than a college football fan, partly just because, I mean, while Cincinnati was good last year, and they've been decent, you know, in the past, but uh, definitely just always been more of a pro football fan. And then being from Cincinnati, I never really got into Ohio State. All right, so here we go. Antonio Gibson, Aziz Ojolari, Devontae Smith, Sam Darnold, Davis Mills, rookie. Got Justin Jefferson, Jacob Harris, Adrian Peterson. And for the Cowboys, we got a silver die cut for Dak Prescott. There's a Dolphin. So we got the Turbo Charge for Jalen Waddell. Then we got a John Randall Hidden Talents card going to the Vikings. Black and Golds, we've got uh, Miles Sanders. There's a Micah Parsons for the Cowboys. Anthony Schwartz, another Browns player there, rookie. And Darius Leonard for the Colts. <clears throat> got another Davis Mills base. Kirk Cousins, Jacob Harris, Jerome Bettis, and Jalen Ramsey. Yeah, one of my fantasy leagues, the redraft league that I'm in, um, we do individual defensive players, so I picked up... Uh, had Micah Parsons last year as my linebacker, and... Picked him up again this year. Yeah, that league's a little crazy. We do, uh, in addition to the team defenses, we do individual defensive players. We do like four different defensive players. So, I mean, a uh, linebacker, defensive lineman, and a uh, defensive back. And then a, a generic, you know, could be any one of them for a fourth position. Then we do a, like a super flex league as well, so it's kind of a little bit of everything. Get some crazy uh, high scoring games, that's for sure. All right, so this is pack number eight. This will be our halfway point.
Oh. Ah, okay, so I was going to see... Yeah, I mean, it is fun. I do like it. It kind of makes it a little more interesting to have all those different players in there. So, I enjoy it. But this year I picked up uh, two Dynasty Leagues, and I'll be doing a third, uh, a second uh, redraft league as well. So, there we go. I was waiting for the uh, autofocus there. <clears throat> all right, we got Kylan Granson, Sam Darnold, Davis Mills again, Justin Jefferson, Jacob Harris, Adrian Peterson, Kylan Granson, got a Kadarius Tony rookie there. Kenneth Gainwell on the silver for the Eagles. Got a DK Metcalf on the numbers. And we got a turbo charge for Chris Carter going to the Vikings. Got a T-Law on our black and gold. Uh, Tom Brady again. Ty Johnson for the Jets. And there we go. There's a Mac Jones. All right. Nice. And this one... Looks a lot better. A little edge wear, but it looks a lot better than that other one did. Luke Farrell, Kadarius Tony, Juba Hubbard, Derrick Henry, and Jalen Darden. Alright, so that was another nice fire pack for our die cuts. Got a little hair in there. Get that out of there. Definitely interested to see how these second year QBs do. Stinks that uh, Wilson got hurt, but hopefully it doesn't sound like it'll keep him out for too long. As always, curious to see how Tom Brady does. Sounds like maybe a little marital trouble with uh, probably the retiring and then unretiring. It's got to be tough, though. I mean, when you do something you know for that long, it's got to be tough to give it up, I'm sure. But I think he's got a nice lucrative uh, broadcasting career waiting for him when he's done. <clears throat> All right. Good deal. So we'll bring up our third set of four packs. And let me see. Let me just make a little bit of space. Just kind of move some cards over. All right, there we go. <clears throat> so yeah, I guess we'll. Uh, I've heard some uh, some people starting to hit uh, select blasters at Barnes and Noble. So you know, if you haven't already, you may want to check those out. Um, you know, Saints, I'm trying to think, nothing that really comes to mind, nothing like crazy or anything for the Saints just yet. Um, but, uh, yeah, definitely check out your Barnes & Nobles. Mine, when, hey, they haven't had much of anything lately. When, uh, when the Contenders came out with the Megas, I, I was able to get some there, but that's been about it. I think somebody's just kind of, has too much time on their hands and they just wait around for some of these places to stock. Starting off, we got Rashad Bateman, Jared Goff, Anthony Schwartz, Quinn and Williams, Mac Jones, base, and this one is the um, concourse level version. Got a little Joey B. I always do a plug. So if anybody likes memorabilia breaks, I, I like them. I do them more often than card breaks, but I will throw out BS collectibles. Got my little Joe Burrow uh, full-size replica lunar eclipse helmet there. Um, but if you like helmet breaks, uh, memorabilia breaks, BS collectibles, B as in boy, S as in scout, they do um, a really good job, and uh, so check them out. Uh, they, they do their breaks through Facebook and YouTube, usually simultaneously, I think, uh, but they sell their breaks through eBay, through their Facebook page, and also through their website. But uh, good, good group of guys. Uh, definitely enjoy breaking with them. Gotten a lot of good helmets through them. All right, that's my plug. All right, we got Donnie Brown for Washington. Jameis Winston for the Saints. So there we go, the Saints card. We got Josh Palmer. Um, on our silver die cut, got a Patty Mahomes numbers. Then we got a Kyle Trask, a die cut for Patty Mahomes. Nice looking car on the black and gold. We got Dwayne Eskridge, Ed Reed, and Jalen Darden. Then we got a Justin Fields rookie, Allen Robinson, Josh Palmer, 
Kenneth Gainwell, and another Kyle Pitts rookie as well. Yeah, I like these hanger packs. They're pretty good with the uh, rookies so far, for the most part. There we go. We'll keep the Mac Jones die cut up there. It looks a little bit nicer than the, the base card there. Yeah, we had the one Waddle uh, insert at least. Uh, but yeah, we did get a. We had the uh, Devontae Adams for the Packers on the black and gold die cut. So. Obviously, you're probably looking for some current Packers players still, or Packers that are players that are still with the Packers. All right, so we've got a Javante. There we go. Get that one sleeved and top loaded. David Johnson, Des Fitzpatrick, Juju Smith-Schuster, Rashawn Slater. Got a Zach Wilson base. Patty Mahomes. Then we got Dwayne Eskridge. And on the silver die cut, we got a nice looking Najee Harris. For the Steelers there. Turbo Charge, Dante Hall for the Chiefs. Hidden Talents for Kurt Warner. This is the Javante Pack. We got a Javante die cut there for the Broncos. Nice hit there. David Johnson for the Texans. Oh, he's kind of disappeared over the last couple years, hasn't he? Saquon Barkley, Calvin Ridley. Then we got Ty Johnson, uh, Mac Jones, Bass. And this is the Premier Level. Joe Mixon for my Bengals. Dami Brown. And Keeney for the Vikings. Be interesting to see what happens with the Vikings uh, running backs. Uh, I don't know. I'd heard that maybe Alexander Madison will try to. I think this is his last year under contract with them, so he may try to look elsewhere. Which I've had him. I think each of the last two years in my redraft league, I uh, have had him on the bench. I didn't get him this year in that particular league, but. Always, uh, always a nice handcuff because Davin Cook seems to get hurt at least a couple times each year. But yeah, I don't blame Madison. I mean, to have the opportunity to, you know, I mean, he'd probably be a starting running back on a lot of teams. But yeah, this year I think my two main running backs, I'm trying to think, Nick Chubb is one, and then, uh, Javante Williams actually is the other one in the redraft league anyway. All right, let's see. We got six packs to go. I think it would be nice to get a, a Jalen Waddle base, or not even a base, but even a die cut. I'm trying to think of ones we haven't really seen yet, but I think that's. I mean, we had the Micah, we've had Najee, we've had Javante Williams, so yeah, we've hit Davis Mills, we've hit a lot of the good rookies, so that's good at least. Uh, we got Derek Gore, uh, Troy Polamalu, Polamalu, yeah, there we go. Uh, having trouble talking tonight. Sam Ellinger, I think that one always trips people up. Elijah Moore, Devontae Adams for the Packers, Michael Carter, Miles Sanders, got a Micah Parsons, and that's the concourse level. Then we got a David Montgomery on the silver die cut, Justin Herbert on the numbers, and another Kyle Pitts. Our black and gold, we got Des Fitzpatrick for the Titans, Juju Smith-Schuster, Simi Fajoko, and Terrace Marshall Jr., then we got Alvin Kamara, Amir Smith Marset, Bo Nose, Bo Jackson, Marquez Stevenson, and Fred Warner. So, not the most exciting pack. <laughs> we'll get back to some fire in this next one. Alright, yep, starting off Trevor Lawrence. Good way to begin. I will say this one does have a little bit of 
kind of a curve there on that front right corner, unfortunately. Uh, we've got a Tom Brady base, Baker Mayfield, Trey Sermon, Daniel Jones, Simi Fajoko, Charles Woodson, Jalen Camp, and a silver for Christian McCaffrey. I like that. I like the colors on that one. That one looks pretty nice. Hopefully he bounces back this year. we got a DeAndre Hopkins, turbocharged. Guys can miss a little bit of time this year. Had him on my fantasy team last year. Hidden Talents for Rod Smith for the Broncos. And on our die cuts, we got Rashawn Slater. He's got a Zach Wilson. There we go. Demetric Felton for the Browns. And Jalen Ramsey. Then we got a Travis Etienne, Jerry Judy, Nico Collins, Eli Mitchell, and Greg Rousseau. So that was a little bit nicer there on that one. I know, still looking for a Waddle die cut. I think that's probably one of the biggest rookies we haven't hit yet. So hopefully we got four more to go. So hopefully we'll find you one of those. Yeah, I know what you're saying, Steve. I'm there. Or, uh, Jack's back. Sorry about that. Wrong person. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think uh, Javante is primed to do some good things. I think that, yeah, getting... Um, Getting Russell Wilson only can only help <laughs> that team. So, yeah, I know always a little bit of a concern with the timeshare with uh, Gordon, but yeah, I'm looking forward to having him on my team. I think he's in. I think I've got him on one of my uh, dynasty leagues that I picked up too. So I'll have to go back and look. All right, we got four packs to go. We'll get a little water real quick. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, this is the, you know, select, I guess, the last uh, 2021 product. So, uh, unfortunately, you know, 2022, yeah, hopefully some of those rookies will step up. Obviously, not the most exciting draft class in the world. Next year will be a lot better. But we'll see. We've got Chuba Hubbard starting off. Brian Tannehill, Richie Grant. There's a Jalen Waddle base. So definitely not a die cut, but uh, we'll take that one. Hopefully we'll find one of the die cuts. Josh Allen for the Bills. Kellen Mond, unfortunately no longer, excuse me, with the uh, Vikings. We got Tua, Ian Book. Got a Silver for Kirk Cousins. Got a Tutu Atwell, a Justin Fields turbocharged. And let's see, we got our black and golds. We got Baker Mayfield, Trey Sermon. Joe Mixon and Amon Ra St. Brown for the Lions. Levi Onwuzarike for the Lions. Another Jalen Waddle. Stefan Diggs, Kellen Mond, and Jared Dokes. Well, a couple of Waddles on the base, at least. Two different versions. This one's the premier level. And I also got the concourse, so the premier and the concourse for Waddle. <clears throat> All right, so we got three more to go. Then we'll do the uh, do a quick recap, and then we'll do the giveaways at the end. All right, we got Joe Montana, Hunter Long. Tyree Kill, Ramondre Stevenson, Rob Gronkowski, Joe Tryon Shoyinka. Got a Jamar Chase. I guess, you know, we had the base earlier, too. That's one we didn't hit yet in a die cut either for the Bengals. Um, I don't think. Lamar Jackson. Silver for Tony Gonzalez. Tony Romo, Hidden Talents. Numbers for Matt Stafford. Got Daniel Jones on the black and gold. Simi Fajoko. 
Deami Brown and Tyler Lockett, Devontae Parker, Ian Book, Ricky Williams, Tommy Trimble, and Rondell Moore to round out that one. And we'll get some top loaders real quick. All right, I did hit the other night. I did a uh, I guess it was Monday night. I did a 20 blaster box break of optic uh, target version, and we hit a downtown for Jamar Chase. That was a pretty sweet hit. <clears throat> All right, we got Kyle Trask, Derek Carr, Tylen Wallace, Peyton Manning, Pat Fryermuth, DJ Shark, Heaney, Debo Samuel. Uh, we got Jacob Harris on the silver die cut, Kenneth Gainwell. Turbo charge for Charles Woodson. Then we got a Charles Woodson on the die cut for the black and gold. Jalen Camp, Alvin Kamara, Caleb Farley. Got Travis Kelsey, Ramondre, Antonio Brown, Tyson Campbell, and Darius Leonard. Okay, last pack. Good luck, everybody. I so said we'll do a quick recap when I get done, and then we'll do the giveaway cards. So we got Eric Stokes, Kyle Pitts, Calvin Ridley, Terrace Marshall, Matt Stafford, Jalen Darden, Kylan Hill, Rondale Moore. Got Zach Davidson for the Vikings on the silver die cut. We got a hidden talents for Adam Thielen, a numbers for Kyler Murray, and our black and golds. We've got Rashad Bateman, Anthony Schwartz. Amir Smith Marset and Bo Jackson. Got another Jamar Chase, Marquise Brown, Kyle Trask, Brian Edwards, and Amon Ra St. Brown to wrap things up. So not too bad. A couple things, you know, it would have been nice to get a couple others on the die cuts, unfortunately. But uh, I do like this, at least a uh, decent helping of rookies, so that's cool. Alright, so let's do a quick recap, and then we'll do the giveaway. Got two cards to do a giveaway with. Yeah, well, there's two. Yeah, there were two Waddle bases, and then <clears throat> there were two different versions of the base one, and then there was the insert card as well. All right, we got Bo Jackson on the black and gold die cut, Jamar Chase rookie base, uh, turbo charge for Justin Fields, Javante black and gold die cut, one of our Jalen Waddle base cards, Najee on the die cut, Christian McCaffrey on the die cut, T Law base, Najee, uh, Dak Prescott on the silver die cut. Javante Williams, Zach Wilson. Got a black and gold die cut for Patty Mahomes. Justin Fields base. Mac Jones base. Um, another Mac Jones. Then we got Michael Parsons on the black and gold. Tom Brady on the black and gold. Davis Mills silver die cut. Um, turbocharged insert for Jalen Waddle. Then we got a T-Law black and gold. Zach Wilson. Justin Fields. Justin Fields on the silver, die cut, Najee, turbo charge for Patty Mahomes, Trey Lance, uh, we got Nick Chubb on the black and gold, Mac Jones with some interesting surface issues, um, Devontae Smith, Trey Lance on the black and gold, die cut, another Tommy B on the black and gold, die cut, we got Justin Herbert, black and gold, Kyle Pitts, black and gold, Kyle Pitts base, Trevor Lawrence, Turbo charge for Zach Wilson, another base for Jamar Chase. And we got Kyle Trask, JC Horn, Jeremiah Owuso Koromoa, Amon Ross St. Brown, <clears throat> Jamar Chase, Trevor Lawrence, Mac Jones, Jalen Waddle, and Zach Wilson to wrap things up. All 
All right, so we're going to do two giveaways tonight, and we'll randomize these in just a minute, do these individually. Um, first one will be the Jalen Waddle numbered card, 26 out of 50, and the second one will be the Kadarius Tony um, autograph jersey card. <clears throat> so let me bring it over here, and let's see, we got random.org. I'm going to do the uh, dice roll. I'll just do the same number for each. Let me get that so it's a little bit clearer, hopefully. <clears throat> All right, so let me go ahead and roll the dice. Seven. So we'll do seven times for each. So I've got all of the teams loaded up here in the randomizer. So the first one we'll do is the Jalen Waddle. And we'll do seven spins, so to speak. And we'll do seven times. And let's see, just to show, got seven times there. And looks like the Chargers will get that one. All right, congrats to the Chargers on that one. And then the second one will be the Kadarius Tony giveaway there. Hoping for some good things from him this year. So we got all the teams in there again. Seven more spins. And uh, the post office is closed Monday for Labor Day, but I will work on getting these packaged up, So and I'll get labels generated either tomorrow or Monday night, and these will definitely get to the post office on Tuesday. All right, so we got seven times, and oddly enough, going to the Chargers <laughs> as well. All right, hang on, y'all. Let me see. I'm going to do another giveaway, but this time I'm going to take the Chargers out. <laughs> Give me just a second. I know I've got... Uh... There we go. Alright. We're going to do one more giveaway. I think in the future <laughs> I need to... Uh... I need to probably take the first team out. I've never really had that happen. I did that in the Memberg, uh, this last one. But I'm going to do another Kadarius Tony. Uh, this one's just an autograph card from Playbook, 11 out of 35. But let me get a fresh randomizer there. Let me see if I still have my teams from earlier. Ah, I do. All right. So the Chargers, I'm happy for you, but we're taking you out. All right, so we're going to do one more giveaway here. I know, that is nuts. Uh, we'll do one more giveaway. I'm going to randomize seven times for another Kadarius Tony autograph card. I went nuts in the spring when Playbook and Limited came out. I was wanting to get into breaks, and I was wanting to get you know a team that didn't cost a ton, you know, but had a decent chance of getting some good stuff, and so I kept hitting the Giants. All right, seven times. So again, just to show, seven times there. And this will go to the Patriots. All right, so going to the Patriots. There we go. Somebody a little bit different than the Chargers. <laughs> all right, y'all. Well, I do appreciate y'all joining tonight. Um, I was really excited to get some of the select and to have a chance to break it. Hopefully, Target will drop some select at some point, and I'll have a chance to actually get some again. Um, it's crazy sometimes as Target's website is to deal with. But uh, yeah, I appreciate it, y'all, and uh, just keep an eye out. Um, I will usually post uh, within the Facebook group when I'm going to do a, uh, you know, some auctions for a new break. So just keep an eye on that, uh, and I hope to see y'all in a future break. So I hope y'all have a great rest of your long weekend and a great week.